welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little vlog. It's a Sunday and we are heading off to Ikea. So I thought I'd bring you with us and show you what's new in Ikea. We're going to get some dinner there, you know, have meatballs. You can't go to Ikea and not have some meatballs. So we'll have lunch when we get there. We're meeting Aid, Mum, Dad and Nan. And yeah, just have a little look around. Um, probably get some new storage for the house. Now it's January, we really want to start working on the house again and just getting it all up together. So I wanted to get some baskets for the twins' wardrobe because I decluttered their whole wardrobe and I want to get baskets and just make it look all really nice with some new hangers. Um, we also want to look at our wardrobe for Amora's room. So we might have a little play on the computers at the PAX wardrobe bit to see if we can design a wardrobe for Amora and just see what the price comes to. Um, I think that's what we'll do. Not sure if we'll buy it today. What do you reckon? Well, I don't know actually. Sell it in the car. This is definitely where you want to get it from. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with her wardrobe because the wardrobe that's in Alexa's room was actually the wardrobe I bought originally for Amora's room. But then we moved it into Lexi's. And I don't know whether to get her an Ikea wardrobe. The only thing I'm thinking about an Ikea wardrobe for her room. Because you get a lot, a lot of storage with an Ikea wardrobe. And it's a lot cheaper than getting a built-in wardrobe. She's had a little cry. Um, but she doesn't actually have that much clothes to put in her wardrobe because she has drawers as well. But I thought we could still use the storage for yeah, but then buy other one, things. Buy one that she can grow with. Yeah, that is true. She could grow with that. So I can't can. imagine her growing in her room though, like coming out of her cot. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I can't imagine putting a bed in that room. I can't wait till she can walk. So yeah, like I said, we'll just bring you with us. Hopefully I can take a lot of footage in Ikea, but it is a Sunday, so it's going to be quite busy, or it normally is busy on a weekend in Ikea, so I don't know how much I'll manage to vlog, but we'll try and see what we can get. <laughs> Thank you. Amora! I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me bag hanging on the wall is really cool and it also reminds me a little bit of the leaf play mats you can get for babies and that is 65 pound for that pillow also it'd be really nice for like a playroom so that the kids can also take down the pillow and sit on the floor love this little tray and also the bowl looks really nice and the tray is only oh it's in the sale 15 pounds. This is a funny addition to a kitchen. I'm gonna give that to Amora. <laughs> oh, yeah, give that to Amora. <laughs> she might really like that. Who wants it? This is cute as well. Little like chalkboard with the little shelf. Yeah, cool. Compartments. And that is 17 pounds. Right down on Gillian's jobs. <laughs> Found this tray again with that little tea mug rack and these little bottles with the cork lids. I really like that look. I'd love to recreate something a little bit like that in our kitchen. We jumped off the subway leading cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright but how did you know how I felt you saw right through me that day I was lost in space but you I 
like this mirror. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they got yeah the brown one. I've seen the brown one. I love that mirror. I'll make it. It's nice. Cute little kitchen here. Like this modern style look. This would be the dream well, to have, yeah, to have that wine rack stocked full right. of wine. Lots of different colours of these baskets. They're ten pounds. Love these. So wardrobe organisation or for kitchen. How you got me off the battleground? for wardrobes or more we spotted this I quite like some of these open wardrobes and this one here but this one would be perfect for Amora's little clothes because it's only a short one that's only 75 pound I thought if you styled that up with some really nice baskets and some cute bits on top it would actually look really nice Get your tray, your table, and the push chairs currently being used as a trolley. So it's now the next day. I'm going to show you everything that we bought in IKEA. I am on the floor of the nursery, as some of you might be able to tell. I feel like I haven't done a video on the floor of my nursery for a while. At the beginning of my channel, I did loads of videos here, pregnancy videos and baby hauls. Yeah, it feels nice actually to be on the floor of the nursery doing a video. Yeah, here we are doing an Ikea haul in the nursery, as I keep saying. But I have got some boxes and a massive blue bag from Ikea of items to show you. The reason we went to Ikea was to look at a wardrobe for Amora, which I explained already in the video. We didn't get one and I'm still having a little play around with ideas. But I think I still will get one from Ikea, but watch this space for what we do with Amora's wardrobe. 
So we didn't buy a wardrobe and this is just the items that we bought. So there weren't any massive items apart from this item in the box. It's not a massive item. This is a kid's table for the girls which we bought because they are always colouring and drawing on our kitchen table. And it's a table from Loaf which we got second hand but it is still a Loaf table so I don't want to ruin it. I want it to last us a while and with them drawing and constantly wanting to paint and things on it it's just you know starting to get a few little marks and I thought we'd get them a little play table to go in the playroom where they can play on where they can draw on and it would just be perfect so we're going to put this up so I can still show you in the video it didn't come with these two white trays but you can attach these white trays to the table and they go inside it'd be better for me to show you and explain it once the table's up this is what will hold basically their pens and all their colouring bits inside their table. Also to go with the table we bought them some little tiny wooden stools. So two little wooden stools to go with the table which I, again I will show you once these are all built and set up. Here is the IKEA kids table that we bought now that we've put it all up and I'm really really pleased with it. It's like this nice light wood colour. And then I've got the stools which just slot right underneath. Uh, I think you pick up the stools separate, but like I said, I'll link everything all down below. And then the trays come into play because you've got these lids. So you've got this flat surface which you can lift up and then you have the tray underneath. So you can get different colours and then you can take them back out. I was actually really annoyed because this table didn't come with the screws. It's come with the leg screws, but we haven't got any screws for this middle bit here, which I can just put in to show you for now, but we're gonna have to go back and get the screws for that, which is really quite annoying. But there's the tray for that side, and then you can cover it with that lid, and then I'll put that tray in there. So you can also get much deeper trays, so you could hold a lot more items in there. This is just perfect for the twins to be able to get to pens, pencils, colouring bits, and I was also thinking sensory bits, like sand, you could put sand in here, water play if they want to play with water, and for Amora as she grows. So I really, really loved that little table idea. Other big items here, which I'll show you before I move them out of the way, are some baskets. I bought two of these larger baskets underneath, and then also three of these other wicker baskets, and I'm going to use these to reorganize the twins' wardrobe. So I have been decluttering their wardrobe and sorting it all out, and painting the inside, and I bought all of these little baskets to hold their clothing, just to make it look nicer, prettier, more organized, easier for them to find all of their bits of clothing. So I bought all of this to go inside the wardrobe. These wicker baskets, the smaller ones, were six pound, and then this large one here was around 13 pounds, so these were about 13 pound each. And their wardrobe has like a drawer underneath, which already has dividers in. And then I was thinking that this would go on the shelves underneath their clothing. And then they have a shelf also above their clothing, which I thought the small little baskets would go on. I'm gonna be doing a video on their wardrobe, hopefully, so you will be able to see all of these little baskets come into play in that video. But it's January, I want to declutter the house, we're sorting out, I want every, inch and corner of our house to be organized you know easy to find things everything's all in its own little place and I'm trying to work my way around the house and I've just done the twins wardrobe so that is going to go perfectly inside their wardrobe moving into the bag now there's a couple of items that I didn't actually buy but like I said we were with Aid's mum and dad so Aid's mum and dad bought the twins some little pans so they've got some more little pots and pans for their kitchen which is really sweet the twins will love those and the twins also wanted some flowers so we have this little bunch of pink flowers over here they get spoiled by their nan and granddad so they had these i don't have all the prices on me to hand right now so everything in this haul i will link in the description bar so you'll be able to find the links to the items plus also i have the price on there if i do remember the price i will tell you but i don't remember them all i do remember the price of the first item though and that is this what are they called i'm so gonna say it wrong is it called a mortal pest let me just look it up one sec because I don't want to get it wrong. Mortar and pestle. I hope I'm saying that right. Mortar and pestle. I really wanted a black mortar and pestle and I seen this one in the showroom and then I picked it up in the market hall and it's this black 
one it's really heavy it was 10 pounds and i think you know the price is justified in the weight it feels heavy it feels good quality so i can't wait to get that out and this is just to go on display in our kitchen i won't be using it i doubt <laughs> so i haven't bought this for use i bought this purely for the look and for display really in our kitchen ages ago when i went to the neptune show home they had one of these on the side on display and i just thought you know what when our kitchen is done and ready and i'm buying accessory bits for it i'd really like one of those on the side so that's why i picked up this one but i actually thought i'd show you without the packaging because then you can actually see what it looks like and it is really beautiful bowl with this black I don't know which bit's the mortar and which bit's the pestle. Is that the mortar and that's the pestle? I'm not really sure, but I think that that just looks stunning. Also, for the kitchen, I picked up these wooden chopping boards. I'm not going to be using them again for chopping. These are purely for display. Again, in the Neptune show home, they have some really gorgeous wooden chopping boards on display. I really wanted the darker wood and also black. I think they have black chopping boards and I really wanted to get some black ones. But these look like a nice dark wood. I thought I'd pick them up and I've got this really, really long one there. And then this tiny little short one and I thought that they would just go on the side by the cooker as a little display item. Really, really loved those as well. Aid really wanted a jug to put water in for the table so we picked up this cork top jug. Again with Neptune, <laughs> you can see the theme we're going through. We love going to Neptune and taking inspiration. They had a gorgeous, gorgeous water jug. Well, I think it was about £60 and although it is stunning, you know, £60 for a water jug can be a little bit steep. So we have decided that one day we will go back and purchase the jug. But just while we're still, you know, paying for other bits in our house and bits are a bit more important than just a water jug, we won't buy that quite yet. He keeps going on about that water jug. It's normally me that wants the ridiculously priced items, but he actually really, really wants that water jug. But we picked up this one for him in ikea i don't know why he's so set on having a water jug but there we go but it's quite cute with a little cork top they had a lot of little cork top bottles which were really nice then we have got some gravy in the bag because my mother-in-law she bought us some meatballs which we're actually having for tea now which aid is actually cooking right the second so although we had meatballs yesterday at ikea we are having meatballs again for tea tonight and actually that's because i haven't done a food shop i was meant to do a food shop today and i haven't done it so we're having our meatballs um i actually need to let him know if he needs his gravy seeing as he's cooking the tea i'll give them to him in a sec and also we've got the jam for the meatballs you can't go to IKEA and not buy meatballs. They're just such an easy cook tea and they taste delicious. Then I picked up this little candle. This one I actually remember was only one pound for this little vanilla candle. And I purely just loved the smell of the vanilla. Then I picked up some cutlery. I think it was £1.25 for each of these items. The kids just need a bit more cutlery. We have had this IKEA cutlery before in the brighter colours. But with these pastel colours... They are just really, really lovely. We've got like the blue, the grey, the pink, the white. Really lovely pastel colours. So I thought they were quite different to everyday bright kids Tupperware. So I thought I'd pick them up. So I've got the cups there. We've got the matching cutlery. I don't know if you can see the colours on the camera. I hope it's coming out. We've got the bowl and the plate. Next, we also picked up this little black I use this as a dishwashing brush and it's got the little sticky bit on the end you can stick on the side and also a black um, tin opener and we picked up this because we lost or misplaced our other tin opener which we had exactly the same one as this actually but in the white and I already have these but I like to pick up a new one every time I go and I always use this as a dishwashing brush so I like to wash my dishes and I'll scrub all the food and hard bits off with this brush or anything off with this brush and when the plate looks clean, I'll then go over with my dishmatic and wash it with soap. I don't know why, that's just the way I like to wash my dishes because I feel like I get rid of all the badness and dirt and grime and food with this brush and then it's less dirty for my dishmatic sponge which can then give it deep clean. That's what I do normally when I wash my dishes anyway. And then lastly, I've got 10 sets of these white hangers. And again, this goes hand in hand with the boxes I bought at the beginning because these are all hangers to hang up in the twins room for their wardrobe so i've got loads and loads of hangers i am going to be changing all the hangers over in our house me and aid already have got some wooden hangers and we've got the pink 
velour hangers and Abe's got black velour hangers so we started off with new hangers when we moved into the house and we bought our new wardrobe and now I just need to change over the twins then eventually I'll do Lexi's and then I'll do Amora's once we get Amora her wardrobe as well but I bought these for the printed bar so I'm hoping that'll be enough for them hopefully if not we can go back and pick up more so I picked up them and I think that they're really really sweet wooden hangers 10 of them that is what is in the rest of this big bag so that brings us to the end of this ikea vlog and haul i hope that you liked the items that i picked up i do like creating these videos hopefully there'll be more trips to ikea seeing as we're trying to organize the house and it's just the perfect place to buy all the little bits and bobs you need to organize your house with so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and i will see you all in my next video